So I'm in Goodwill, obviously, you can see right here. Uh, I usually don't look through the records, but there were some good records in here. Demo record, local 78, buy them specifically. So all these should get me 10 or 15 bucks a piece, at least. Here's a Braille record. It's a magazine. It's uh, Newsweek from 72. Colored disc records from local uh, manufacturer as well. Those should be good. Another colored vinyl record here. 78 as well, too. And then some Watchtower Jehovah's Witness items. This album's 20 bucks, and this set of 10 easily goes for 60 to 100 bucks. So 99 cents a record is what we're getting from these right here. And there's a whole bunch of them, too. So. Hey, it's done. As you saw, we did go to a Goodwill. We're in a different area. We moved, we bought a house, the whole works. And there's a whole bunch of new thrift stores in this area that are um, outside of the, the bubble I used to go in before. A couple of them I've been into before. Most of them I have not. Um, one good thing I find is a lot of folks in this area apparently don't mess with some of the items that I do. And I've been able to find a large number of records at stores that are worth good money that normally I would never find them anywhere else around. Okay, so now this is the stack that I got at Goodwill right here. Now, let's look at the very obvious ones to me anyway. Now, these are Jehovah's Witnesses um, records. Anything that's Jehovah's Witness, that's media, that's early, I've done phenomenally well. And books from, you know, World War II and that era do extremely well. Hundreds of dollars for some. Records, the same thing. Now, this one is from a series, R8. There's R1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think there's like 16 of these. I've had them before. I instantly knew this is going to get me about 25 bucks. Now, the Goodwill that I was at, I think the records were 50 cents each, maybe a dollar at most. So just this one right here, and it says Watchtower on most of them. That's what you're looking for. Um, most all of the Watchtower material goes for really good money. Now, this is a series, and I think I have every one to the set. I've got, again, Watchtower. Jehovah's Witness. I buy a lot of religious material, and I make pretty good money depending on the type of religious material that it is. Metals and pins and things like that, sometimes they're gold, and I do phenomenally well. But this is P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's 10. So that's the whole set. Now, if you look this up, and I'll show you a couple links right here, as you can see, this one easily can sell for 60 to 100 and some odd bucks. It always sells, especially if you have the whole set. So price structure, there is a history on it. These prices are coming straight from Pop PopPsych. Uh, look it up. It's a, probably the best place to look up records. You can look up a bunch for free. I have a membership. We pay, I think it's like $18 um, every six months. It's well worth it for me. It's the only site that I pay for to figure out prices because record prices, you know, it take a little bit of effort. Records, you know, change constantly. People turn up them and wear out. All kinds of things happen. So I always, always, always pretty much look up the, the best ones, the ones that I know may have a better price structure on Pop Psych as well. This easily right here, as I said, should get me at least 75 bucks, bare bones minimum. I have 10 bucks invested into these or five. I'm not, again, not sure if this store was 50 cents or a dollar. A couple of the stores we went to had 50 cent records and some had a dollar. I've got the receipt, you know, I put it on my paperwork. I file it as an expense in the whole works uh, again. So anyway, these are excellent. The condition on these, uh, I probably won't have to even show you, but I've never run into any of these type of records that weren't like in mint, 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 mint condition because they're probably only played once or twice. Uh, you can see the disc itself looks like spotless. Yeah, the record itself has a very nice shine to it on the edges, on the whole work. So it looks unplayed. These all look near mint. This is one of those things. Yeah, I think we'll put that back in in a minute there. But this is one of those things that apparently, since it's religious, Goodwill puts it out. They don't look up. They don't think about religious items because generally religious items don't go for very much. 
If you run into a bunch of religious like gospel and stuff at a, at a store, most of the time it's not worth much. Like Northern Soul gospel, R&B gospel, some of that goes for good money. Bluegrass, early you know country gospel, some of those can go for good money as well too. Now let's look at a couple other ones that I got. Now this is a demonstration disc. Uh, it's from Epic. I've bought, I don't know, dozens of these. It's a promotional piece. Most of the time, these would have been used in a record store to advertise the quality of the records. Um, can I get this out where it's going to be viewable? And it's always a white label, or 99% of the time. There's different versions. There's one with an Elvis song on it that can go for some good money. I don't know if you can see, but the condition of the records, at least, geez... Uh, geez, very fine or better. It's a nice condition record. I did throw it on a turntable, so I know it sounds excellent. I like some classical music, so for me that was good. But this is advertising their classical, as well as something you'd use to sell equipment and things like that. This is what they might play in a store or something along that line. Uh, you, in some cases, they gave these away to record shops so they could play them in the store and things like that. I usually get 20, 25 bucks for most of these. Obviously, it has a little split. I'm not going to try and fix it. I just sell it the way it is. Now, here's an interesting one. I don't think this has anything on it. Whenever I run into ones with these types of sleeves, I always look at them. I always yank them out. And this one's especially interesting. Now, let's see if I can get it out. This is Newsweek magazine. And it's a talking version of the magazine. And that's exactly what this is. This was put out for those that would be um, visually impaired. It has Braille on the back side of it. So this is mostly the entire magazine, less ads and things like that. And these are produced and, and done for free, uh, or supplied for free to folks. Now, these don't show up very often. I've had dozens of these, though. This one should get me about 25 to say 42 50 somewhere in that range. Just depends on the day of the week and how long I want to keep it running. Um, they're not quick sellers. The religious watchtower ones will sell fairly quick, but those aren't. Now, these are a couple other ones that they, that they obviously missed. Color of a record doesn't mean a whole lot unless the record is a good record to begin with. It's a little dusty, but it's, it's in a very fine condition. This is a 78. It's a flex disc. It's Christmas as well. The Columbus Boys Choir. Now, there is no record label marking on this one, but I believe this is by a company called Music Cal. Uh, M-U-S-I-C-A-L-E, I believe, and that is out of Columbus. They did most of these private pressings here. Either way, the Columbus Boys Choir from around 1942 to 46, I'm believing from, from the markings, the way it looks, the way it sounds, the information I found, this should easily get me around, say, 50 bucks or so. It's obviously a display piece. It's red. It's translucent vinyl. This is the, the age of vinyl as 78s and shellac were going out. Excellent, interesting one. Christmas stuff does phenomenally well for us. And another one by the very same group on probably a musical. It's a different color of red. One's a deep red and one's a lighter color red. Let me see if I can pick them up so you can see the difference. Hopefully you can see that difference. I like the color discs. People put them on a wall. This is the Lord's Prayer. You have a soloist here um, and, and the boys' choir. Other side is Oh Holy Night. These do not go together. They were not part of a set. 101, so this is the very first disc like this that they ever made. And what's the number on the other one? It might be in a series, but I doubt it. So 104, so there was a few records between this. They never start a record label, at least not that I'm aware of, like this. Anywhere but at 100 or 101 is usually what they start. They don't usually start at record one, two, three. They usually start in the hundreds. There's probably a bunch of test records before that and all, but either way you go, there's probably, I don't know, so I want to be honest and, and value wise, 67. There's probably two, 250 in value in these right here, and just these few right here. And honestly, I don't honestly go to thrift stores very much, but with the new house, there's things that we'd like to find. And I don't mind buying a used table or something like that. So we're out, we're you know stopping at places, looking for furniture, looking for this. We got doors now, so I don't have to worry about doors. It's little things and stuff like that. Um, little stuff, stuff for the yard and things like that too. So we're going by different places. We're checking stuff out. I'm making notes on what's the best places to pick stuff up, what I'm picking up there too. One of the places I went to is a place I haven't been to in two or three years. It was bad then, it's good now. 
So I've said this before, I make notes, I keep track of where I go and what they have. So if I, I wanna go source one day, I know exactly where to go to get the best return on my investment for my time. If a place is terrible, I've been there two or three times and it's terrible every time, chances are I won't go there very often, if at all again. So uh, another aspect on this, these are items again, that aren't being picked out by Goodwill and other thrift stores right this very second. If you've watched some of my late videos, my recent videos, I found a lot of good records. Again, I'm in a different side of town, I'm sourcing different places. So wherever you source, you're gonna have different types of items you can find. And again, that's why I can put some of this information out there without worrying because you're never gonna find the exact same things that I find. So my competition isn't going to be flooded by talking about rare or unique or niche items that you can still find, but your odds of finding the exact one I have are, are fairly slim. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Ooh, it's gonna get you. The camera's gonna get you, Jack. Watch out for the camera. Ooh, it's gonna get you. Ooh. Ooh. Jack, it's gonna get you.